Okay, so let's come into the, the middle of your mat and just have your legs comfortable distance apart, nice and easy. All we're gonna start with our shoulders, so you can take as many shoulder circles as you want to, just to get into the joints. So we just wanna warm up the muscles surrounding the rotating of our shoulders. So we've got loads of muscles in our shoulders and they work in a nice sort of team effort. So easy with those shoulder muscles and then just go in the other way as well. Everything so far that um, we're going to practice here at the beginning, we have done before. So from one of those shoulder rolls, chin to chest, let's just roll down. So our first roll down, loads of knee bend. Let your thighs become a little bit of a shelf if they need to, just to rest your chest on. Let your head relax. Maybe have a, a little sway side to side. Maybe go round and round on the legs. Whatever you feel like, whatever makes you feel a little bit loose, a little bit relaxed and then anything going on in your head you're just going to leave it there on the mat we can grab it and pick it up later chin to chest navel to spine and you uncurl your body piece by piece each bone in your back your chest your shoulders and then your gaze comes back to your screen arms are lifted we're going to link our hands and just take a side stretch over to whichever side feels it needs it most and then back into center and then over to the other side, we do this all the time. It's just all about our waist, our obliques, coming back up to the top. And then a little resistance as you let the arms go. And as your hands brush your thighs, let's go down again. This time we're just going to go all the way down, bending the knees, chin to chest, and come all the way up. Pushing your feet into the ground, stacking your body the same, lifting your chest, shoulders, and then gazes at the screen. Inhale, the arms lift up. Let's do our scissor arms, so one arm coming forward, one arm going back, and gazes at that arm behind you. And then as you lift your arms up, distance, ribs away from hips, and then twist in the other way. As you bring the arms all the way up, let's take our hands down with a little bit of resistance, chin to chest, and let's roll down again. So as you got, get familiar with this, and your muscles get familiar with this, it just starts to feel more natural. Chin to chest, navel to spine, and arm curl your way all the way back. Shoulders back and down. We're just gonna go through everything one more time. So arms lift. Let's go to our second side first, if you can remember, the side that you chose not to go to. And then back into center. And then over to the other side, hopefully feeling a little bit easier there. Inhale as you lift, scissor cut, if you can remember which way you went, go the other way first. And then inhale, lift. And exhale the other way. Bring the arms all the way up. And then our last roll down, chin to chest, let's go all the way down. We're gonna hang around there just for a minute. So as you go down, lows and knee bend back to your ragdoll. And then come up to a, a sort of straighter leg option if you can. Fingertips can be on your on the floor or if you can, and if you can't touch the floor with your fingertips, bend your knees. We're going to take our right foot behind our left and cross our legs and then walk our hands around to where our right foot was. And that will target your hamstrings, your hips, and a little squeeze into your glute muscle as well. And then just do what you can as you twist your body around. And then walk your hands back to centre, uncross your right leg. And then cross your left behind your right, really tight, so shins, calves, squeeze in together. And then around the other side. And if you need those knees bent, absolutely. And then all the way back through centre, uncross your legs or you'll probably fall over. Chin to chest, knees are slightly bent. And uncurl your way all the way up. Nicely roll back and down with your shoulders. And we're back where we started. So we're going to take our feet much wider. Feet turn out to the two corners of your mat and come down into Pilates, it's called a plie squat. In yoga it's called goddess, so whatever you like to name it. We're just going to get down into our, into our legs, so let's warm these legs up. So take a breath in, bring the hands behind the back of the head like a, like a crunch type position. And let's just take our right elbow across to our thigh. And we do this in yoga as well. We're going to go to our left. And centre, we're going to go to our right. And centre to our left. 
Now this time as you go to your right, can you go a little further? And centre to your left. And we're going to make that move a little bit bigger. So we're going to brush our right side arm outside of our thigh and our left. So the weight of our arm, just making that movement feel a little heavier and a little bigger. One more each side. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And then just take a little hold. Now if you can, we're going to go a little lower. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Reach your hands up, knuckles facing the ceiling and then turn your hands inside out so your palms are facing the ceiling. I've now got your hands. How high can I pull those arms? How deep can you press your hips? And we're going to pulse it out for 16. Here we go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8 more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to hold, breathe, and straighten out the legs. Well, that's the arms down by the side. If you need to step in to step out, that's fine, but if you can, turn your feet now to face the long end of your mat. Hands to your hips or waist. We're just gonna come into a tabletop spine. So we've worked our legs already. We've done a little bit with our mobility. This is about bringing a little bit of heat into the back. So from your halfway position, just bringing your hands from your hips to your shins, your knees, wherever you can reach. And then as you touch your shins with your fingertips, see if it feels like it's pushing your chest, your heart further forward. So we've got our back nice and long and our space nice and open. Both hands now coming underneath your shoulders, so you've got a table position. And then rock the weight so you've got weight in your hands as well as your legs. Right hand stays on the floor. Let's take our left arm up. And we're going to try and keep the weight equal through both right and left leg, if we can. And then that hand comes down and the other hand lifts up. And you'll find you're twisting from your waist, but you're trying to equal weight through both right and left leg. Let's do that again. Inhale down, exhale lift. And let's do that again. Inhale down. Now we're going to go a little bit quicker for singles. So lower and lift one. Inhale, exhale two. Two more to go. And let's make this our last one. Come back to your tabletop and right onto the very tips of your fingers so that you're sort of not using your hands as, as table legs. We're going to take our arms out wide to the side. We have done this and spread out our wings. If your back doesn't mind this, we're going to bring your arms forward. Now we're going to hold our arms forward just this one time. Count you four, three, two, and lift up on one. Turn your feet back out to the two corners of your mat. Plie squats again, but we're just going to move up and down now. So down onto the inhale, up onto the, down into the exhale, up onto the inhale. And let's do five. And four, last three. See lots of arms going up and down, lots of bums going up and down. Last one, all the way up, and we should feel a little warmer by now. So nice and warm. Morning to whoever's just joined us. We're only just warming up, so you haven't missed very much of the class. I'm just gonna do a little something on my screen because I've still got my list of you and I can't see everything going on on my page. So I just need to close that down without my glasses so you can see me squinting. That's better. Okay, so from the back of your mat, we're going to roll down to our planks. We're going to gradually build slow mountain climbers. There's no fast pace at all in them, but we're going to do two, we're going to do three, and we're going to do four. So feet at the back end of your mat, nice easy shoulders, chin to chest, and let's do a new roll now. And if these mountain climbers don't suit you, all you do is just hold a plank or just put your knees down, do a little cat-cow. You're gonna walk out to our, our first plank of the morning, most likely. Hands underneath shoulders, legs nice and active, belly nice and strong, we all know plank. And let's walk our hands back to our feet. 
So there's our base position, bend the knees, chin to chest, and uncurl. So I suppose as a modification also, you could just roll out plank and walk back to the top of your mat. Let's add, exhale. Walking out to your plank, inhale. Now we're gonna take that hold there and lift our right foot off the floor. Bring that knee to your same elbow. Push it back to extension and land. Lift your left foot off the floor, knee to elbow, and back to plank. One more each side, right knee to elbow, and plank, left knee to elbow, and plank. Let's walk that back to your feet. Make sure the wall jump a little bit. Bend the knees and uncurl. So as we build them, do as many as you can. So if you can only do that two times, then you could always come to Charles. Let's go again, exhale. Loads of repetition in Pilates, but usually you'll find that the one you think you can't do, which is usually the last, is the one that is usually the best. So let's bring our right knee to our elbow and plank. Left knee and plank, two to go, to right and left, one more, to right and left, so you can always rest it there or just walk your hands back to your feet with me, bend your knees low, chin to chest, recovery breath as you uncurl, all the way up, chest forward, shoulders down, Gazing at the top of your mat. Last one. Exhale, rolling down. Maybe your legs will stay a little straighter now. Walk out to your best plank so far, so feel strong and controlled in your plank. Right leg lifts, knee to elbow, and plank. Left knee. Let's do three more. Exhale, and back. Exhale, two to go. To right. And left, one more if you can, to right and left. Now hold that plank here in, in nice and high in your plank, lower your knees and sit back, take trials. Exhale, a little circle around through your wrists if you need to, shoulders, neck, head, anything that needs recovery. And just take a couple of breaths just to come back to balance. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on. And we're going to come on to our knees and hands. This one I'm bringing to the class loads and loads and loads. And it's uh, what we call a needle thread. So we're going to take your right arm off the mat and imagine that up on, the, up on the shelf up there you've got a weight and you're going to grab that weight in your hand. So with a little power you're going to push that arm through the space between left arm and knee and pull it back up to your seat. And we're going to do that four more times. Breathing out and breathing in, three to go, breathing out and in, twice more, nice easy one in the middle, and then last one. Now as this arm comes high, we're gonna bring it out in front of you, and all we're gonna do is find a little bit of calm and stillness in this practice, and just hold our arm, our leg, and see if we can find some balance and see if you can find some length. So five, four, three, two, or one, stretch it out a little bit longer, and back to your knees and hands. Exhale, just shake out your hips. Maybe take cat cow if you need it as well. If your back feels it needs a little move around. And then back to tabletop. So I always say to you, imagine you've got something precious on your back or maybe just a cup of tea or a glass of water. And we're going to take our left arm off the mat, grab our weight from our shelf, and needle thread five times. Feel you've got a good, firm, powerful movement through that arm and twist. And this will wake up your obliques for you as they are going to work a little bit harder later on. Two to go, breathe out and breathe in. Last one, so as high as you can reach through those left fingertips, bring that arm forward, it's your opposite leg if you struggle with this, put your hand down and just do the leg, and all we're going to try and do is find that little bit of calm, 
and that bit of stillness and that will come from just using the correct muscles and finding the vibrant and you'll do that for yourself. Hold in five, four, three, two, we're going to stretch it out on one and come back to our knees. Exhale. So if you just sit back onto your heels and release your feet out in front of you, we can start our way down to our, to our backs to this exciting part. So feet underneath your knees, hands holding the backs of your knees, spine lengthening tall. So from your seat, which feels grounded, which feels grounded, try and feel like your body's lightening and lifting all the way above you. Nice and relax with your shoulders. We're going to let our arms come out in front. And we're going to begin by coming forward into a little C curve, chin to chest. Now, as you take that C curve shape back, like we've been doing over the last couple of weeks, Maintain the C-curve, scoop your belly in, maintain the C-curve and then stretch your back out, fingertips to ceiling and bring the arms forward and create a new C-curve. Now that all happens on one breath if you can, we're exhaling, we're still exhaling and we inhale and come forward. You need more than one breath, you take more breath. So nice and easy into those back muscles and nice and intense into those deep core muscles all the way back inhale up to start again so one more we're going to bring in our single toe taps so coming all the way up can you touch your ceiling and C curve forward now as you start to go back again pick up the backs of the knees and draw your spine nice and tall First round, let's lightly hold the back of the knees and we're just going to toe tap down and up. So you can even guide that leg up and down. Push it forward, pull it back. Push it forward, pull it back. The whole time, try and keep that chest lifted and proud and try and keep that slight diagonal slant to your spine. One more on each side. And lower, beautiful. Lift and hold. Feet to ground, arms to ceiling. Exhale forward. Let's do another round. So chin to chest. Scoop the belly in. Lengthen the spine tall. Start your new C curve. Nice and soft through your elbow joints, your wrists, your hands. Belly in. Repetitive work. Feels easy to begin with. And that heat starts to creep in. Go further. You can do less. You're all amazing. Let's find the backs of those knees again. Lift the legs high. Elevate your spine tall. Relax your shoulders down. If you're feeling strong, you can let go this time. Single leg and single leg. So only one leg working at a time. Don't feel like you have to scissor them. Lift, lift. Lower lift. Lower lift. Lower lift. Mechanism of lifting that leg. Squeeze your belly every time you lift the leg. Four, three, beautiful, two. We're going to hold it there on one and feet down. Lengthen your spine tall. Stretch your legs out and just take a fold forward all the way over your legs. A couple of breaths here, shoulder roll. And then pick up the arms in front of you as if you had this big bundle of marshmallows in your arms. Chin to chest, we're going to roll our way all the way down onto your mat and then lengthen all the way out through the entire length, width, space of your body. I'm just going to change the screen slightly on the, on the zoom because I want you to make, make sure you can see the mat properly. Perfect. Okay, so we're on our backs. Nice and long through the spine. Hands coming down beside you. Feet underneath your knees. Hands on the front of your pelvis and just imprint your spine. Most of you will know this, but some of you are newer. As you imprint your spine, belly to spine, your pelvis will tilt like a seesaw. You take your spine to an arch and push your pubic bone towards the mat. 
your, your pelvis tilts the other way of your seesaw. So we're going to get a nice seesaw rolling action through our pelvis, pressing down into the back, pushing away from the back, just to get the back feeling like it's got lots of elasticity. And I was amazed I actually said that word properly. <laughs> I usually mess that one up. Okay, nice and easy. So rolling in, rolling out. We want our backs to feel nice and easy, pliable and supple. So we're working with like a, a plasticine rather than, a, than a, a sort of solid clay. And then as your, arm hand, your back moves towards the arch of your movement, slide your fingertips underneath and let your back just rest on top of your hands. And I just want you to give your back a little massage with that little tick-tock of your legs side to side. And what you feel is almost like your, your back's massaging your hands or your hands are massaging your back, however that works for you. And then one, two, we're gonna lift these legs up to tabletop. So I think we should feel pretty warm now. So we're gonna take the hands from under our back, let the natural curves of your spine fill the gap, belly away from your t-shirt. Hands around the backs of the knees, and curl your way up. Roll your shoulders back and down, chin to chest. Now we're only gonna do this one time, but I want you to sort of feel that you're not particularly using your, your grip around the backs of your knees to curl yourself up, that you're actually using your, your deeper core muscles to hold you up. So the first thing we're gonna do without tension in our shoulders is just let go with one hand. And you'll probably feel that you're sinking a little bit. So from there, we're gonna try and just exhale and come back to where we were. And then we're gonna let go of the other hand as well. So they're there to catch us if we need to, but we're not holding on at all. And now what you should feel now is a little bit of work happening in these deeper muscles. Relax your shoulders, because tense shoulders won't hold you up. Point your fingers towards the end of your mat. We're not gonna pulse, but we're gonna just try and come up the ladder five times. So we're on the lowest rung here. We're going to shoulder roll, breathe in, and climb up onto the first rung of that ladder. Exhale. We're going to try and come up onto the second. Exhale. And then we're trying to come up onto the third. Exhale. So it starts to feel a little bit more work. We have two rungs to reach. So we're coming all the way up to four. And then last one, exhale and hold. Take your hands behind the back of the head and lower the head all the way down to the ground. So that should feel quite warm now. Four sequence. Enjoy. Do as much as you can. If you need to rest in between, please do. Lift the imprint of your back. Inhale. We start from the ground with four basic crunches. Exhale. Inhale. Two. Three. Now on four, hold, just drop back halfway and start four from there. Lift, halfway down. Lift, halfway down. Lift, halfway down. Now on this one, lift, hold. Our next four is a pulse up. Four, three, two, and hold. Our last four is one exhale and count four. Four, three, two, and lower. Round one done. We have three more rounds. Second round exactly the same. So chin to chest from the ground, belly to spine, four crunches. Four and three. Two, chin in and one. Halfway down only. Four from here. Four and three. Two and hold. No down at all, just up. Four, three, two, hold up. Breathe out and smile. <laughs> Four, three, two, and lower. Halfway there, just hug your knees in towards your chest. Now I offer you now a scissor split of your legs. So one leg up, one leg forward. Modify it by keeping that lower leg on the ground and bending this top leg. Intensify it by hovering this lower leg, straight top leg, or just keep your legs as they were. 
hands behind the back of the head. Now for now, the legs don't move, they're just your weights. Four crunches, four, and three, and two, and one. Halfway down only, four crunches, four, three, two, and hold. Now pulsing is just up to those toes. Four, three, two, one, hold. Loop your hands around your thigh and then just try and squeeze yourself in and hold it there. Four, three, two, one. Take the hands behind the back of the head. Do one scissor change and breathe out head to mat. Oh, I wish I could hear you. Is that feeling? <laughs> so as long as everything feels was correct, then we do one last round. Enjoy chin to chest, four crunches. Four, three, two, and one. Halfway down only. From here, four, halfway, three, halfway, two, now stay up on one, we're going to pulse from here, four, three, two, hold. We're going to loop around our thigh, climb up to that fifth ladder, exhale and hold. Five, four, three, two, one and rest easy, exhale. And that's quite a lot of contraction into that deep core, so let's stretch everything out. Toes, fingertips, torso, frame, back, everything. One nice full breath in. And then maybe exhale out through the mouth. Exhale. Perfect. So, we're in through. We're going to come back to our knees to chest. And we're going to work into our oblique muscles now. So we're going to work just through classic crisscross. But I'm going to give you different timings. We again, we've done this before. So we're going to bring our right knee into our chest, left leg extends, and curl your head up, shoulders back and down. Anytime you need to put your head down just to release your neck, just take a rest and come back and join us. And then let's take our hands one last time behind the back of the head. So as you change legs, we're going to bring your opposite shoulder over to that knee, but we're going to hold it. So three two, one. We're going to shift and change again and hold. Three, two, one. Again, hold. Two, one. Again, hold. Two, one. Now we pulse, cross, cross and pulse. Three, two, one. Change. Three, two, one. Change. Three, two, one, last pulse, three, two, four singles, four, three, two, one, and knees in, exhale, Woo. so a little massage through the back, <laughs> how are we feeling? We're going to do that one last time, starting with the other leg first, or you use this time as additional rest time. So if everything still feels fine, still feels like it's yours, let's bring your left leg in this time, right leg extends, and curl up to meet your leg. Big roll back and down over your shoulders. Support the neck, don't grab the neck. Chins in, we're gonna crisscross change and hold that shoulder to your knee. Three, two, one, and change. Three, two, one one and change three two one and change three two one and pulse three two one change three two one last set two one last one three two four singles four three two one and knees in exhale amazing so just for a little counter stretch bring both feet to the ground take a little imprint of your back into the mat and then push your hips up and just find a nice easy bridge lift 
So while your back is off the floor, we're going to breathe nice and full into the full capacity of your lungs and fill your frame with your breath. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to roll down through each vertebrae coming down to your mat. And we're going to do that again one more time. So push up to your bridge. When you get to your bridge, breathe nice and fully. Inhale. And then exhale all the way down to your back. We have one last thing to do on our backs, lower and upper abdominals. Just want to say good morning. So we're going to take both legs straight up so that your toes sit quite nicely above your hip line. We're going to scissor split our legs one more time. So let's say let's leave our right leg up and lower our left leg down. I'm sort of mirroring you, but I don't know how that works on the screen and then just take a little hamstring stretch. Now if you did the, the yoga yesterday you would have done this with me. So we're going to start just by stretching out this right leg and lengthening out your left leg and you can just hold on to this right leg the whole time and we're going to bring your left leg all the way up until it touches your right heel and then press it down. Now feel like you're doing this with full resistance. So we've got our ankle weight on as we push our leg up and as we press our leg down. We're going to go a tiny bit quicker for three. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now last one, lift hold. Bind the two legs together, hands behind the back of the head and then just peel your head off the floor. It doesn't have to do much, it's just going to look at your belly and you're going to make sure your belly stays firm and your back stays back uh, down and we're going to lower both legs and they might only lower a little way or they might lower a little bit further. Inhale down, exhale lift, inhale down, exhale lift. Now last one, lower, lift. Now as you uncross your legs, reach up. Catch hold of your left leg and lower your right leg down and your head can come back to the mat and your shoulders can relax and you can breathe a little bit. And then just stretching out this left side, lengthening out this right leg, relaxing muscles that are able to relax here. So if you remember we brought our, le our right leg up, tapped our heel and pressed it down. We did again, lift it up and press it down a little bit quicker. So lift, feel, try and create that full resistance as we pull and push and pull and push. Now last one, we just bind the two legs together, hands behind the back of the head, just peeling the head off the mat so you can look at your belly and then pressing two legs down, maybe just a little bit maybe a little further, and lift, lower, and lift. A little sting in this tail, ladies, so if you don't want to be stung, after this next one, you're just going to hold, you're just going to bring your knees to your chest, but if you can, reach your fingertips up to your feet. We're going to pulse up, 16, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, hold, and you're at that top rung on the ladder, and eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're nearly there, hold, we're going to start to lower those legs, but we're also going to take our arms back, so we're open in our boat, holding five, four, three, two, one, and rest, exhale, all done. Nice big roll of the shoulders, arms out nice and wide to the side. Just take your legs over to one side, turn your head to the other side and just relax. Give yourself a well-earned few moments here. Perfect. I love that sequence. I love your feedback on that as well because most people think I'm bonkers when I say I like that. Let's come all the way over to the side. What I like is you feel these movements working. 
that you'll know that something's happening. And the other side, exhale. And then bring your knees into your chest, give them a lovely big bear hug. Curl your head up to meet your legs. And then whatever way you're comfortable, just bring yourself up from your back and up onto your mat. Perfect. So um, I'm probably not going to be light for the next couple of minutes because we're going to work your glutes. But then again, you will thank me, I hope. So hands and knees position. Let's just take a nice long child's pose. Just think about the distance you can create as you push your hips back into your heels and as you walk your hands forward. But then think about the distance you can make across the back of the shoulders. So roll your shoulders out. And then from your lovely long deep child's pose, let's come up onto our knees and hands again. So take the top spine, cup of tea on your back. I want you to feel that all the work ends at the top of the pelvis and none of it filters into the back. We're going to take your right leg out behind you and flex our foot down. So for the first eight moves we toe tap the floor and then we heel tap the ceiling. We're going to keep a good nice resistance, toe tap, heel tap, toe tap, heel tap, eight times, lower, lift. Now every time that heel taps your ceiling, squeeze your belly nice and tight. I'm trying not to feel like your back is moving around inside of this leg lift. Three, two, now hold there and pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bend the knee, foot still flexed, push the foot up as if you were going to squeeze the ceiling off the wall and then knee down. So we just make a big more of a pendulum movement up and down. Squeeze and lower. Six, five, four, three, two, hold at the top, pulse your ceiling off your wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Happy? Stretch that leg out, flex your foot, let's do one more round. Tap, squeeze, and two, and three and four, and five, and six, last seven, and eight, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, I know it's burning, bend the knee, push up, swing down, eight times, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold one, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out and bring it in. Ooh, sit back, Charles. Now there is one rule in this Pilates class, and that is, if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna turn this off now, you're not allowed. <laughs> you have to do the other leg. <laughs> so let's come back up onto your knees and hands, take a cat spine opportunity to think oh I'm not doing any more of this not allowed you have to do the other leg <laughs> okay so hands and knees position back in nice and firm a cup of tea on our back we're going to take our left leg out flex our foot push your heel to the back of your room so all it is is a toe tap and a heel tap a toe tap and a heel everything filtering from that pelvis down Eight times, eight. Squeeze your belly, six, five. Squeeze your bum, four, three, two. Now make sure that leg is active and long and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bend the knee, foot still flex, push your ceiling off the wall. Knee swings down, eight times, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and hold. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. So good. They did it again. Stretch out the leg, flex out the foot, eight times, toe tap, and squeeze. And
and squeeze. Don't give up. It's just a bum. A little bit of heat. Four, three, two, and hold. Last time we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bend, last push up of that ceiling and swing down for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Extend, look at your screen and smile. <laughs> three, two, one, and sit back. Knees a little bit wider, feet together, and just come all the way down into that little hollow there, into your child's. So we have two more sections to go. And the first of those sections, we are gonna come from your heels onto your belly. So nice and easy, whatever way works for you. Just come down onto your belly, beautiful. Make a pillow with your hands. Chin can rest on your pillow, your cheek can rest on your pillow. And just give your hips a little bit of shake side to side. Bend the knees and then just let the legs also just move comfortably side to side. And this is just loosening up through your waist, through your hips, just flushing a little bit of blood into those pelvis, into your glutes. So everything starts to feel a little bit more like yours again. And then just stretching the legs out. So we're going to target your backs um, and we've got um, a movement through our arms that we're going to look at as well. So we're going to start with our arms out in our goalpost arms, our cactus arms. And just come up onto your, onto your goalpost arms, onto those elbows, forearms and hands. And that should give you quite a nice, easy back stretch. And just think about shining your heart forward here and keeping your chin in. So we've got what we call sphinx pose. And that can be your modification, you know, all the time. So we're going to slowly come down back on our belly. If that back then felt quite passive, move your hands in a little bit. And we're going to find three times into our cobra. So as you inhale, you're coming to your sphinx, or you're just coming a little higher into your cobra, but make sure your shoulders can stay nice and deep. And then come back down onto your belly. Let's do that again. Inhale. Think of shoulders and exhale. Nice calm before the storm. Inhale and shoulders and exhale. Now we're going to do three more, but we're going to take our arms away if possible. So obviously we're not going to get as high, but we're not going to try and force height. So as you inhale, keep your chin tucked in. And as you exhale, control your exit. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. One more. Inhale. No holds. And exhale. Now we're just going to slide our hands back so that your, your thumbs rest on the side of your legs or your palms face the side of your legs. Doesn't really matter. We're going to find three more, but this time as we find those chest lifts, we're also going to try and lift our legs as well. And you don't have to. See how you feel. So as you inhale, it's chest and your legs this time. And as you exhale, we lightly land in chest and legs. So just feel in here. Inhale. And exhale. That shouldn't worry your back whatsoever. Last one here, inhale, and exhale. Now what I'm gonna ask you to do now is just bring your right hand forward and leave your left hand where it is. That right hand can face in or it can face down. So we've taken our weight, one of our arms as a weight and we brought it forward. So we're gonna inhale, lift our chest and the legs if we can. And while we're up, we're going to just change our arms around and bring our left forward and our right back. 
and lower down. So we're going to inhale chest and legs if we can, change our arms over and lower ourselves down. Now we're going to go a little bit quicker here. So we're going to lift, change and lower. Going to lift, change and lower. Going to lift, change and lower. Listen for instruction. We're going to lift and bring both arms forward and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring your hands back in by the side of your shoulders or waist. And come up onto your knees and your hands. So back on our hands and knees. Just to find a little bit of movement through our spine. Which probably feels quite needed. Exhale, inhale. Easy spine movement, cat cow. And then really what you could do if you'd like to, is you could just take a child's pose. Or you can just come here with me back to neutral spine. Where your hands are, we're going to bring our elbows. And where your elbows are, we're going to step back to our forearm plank. So I'm going to time us a minute. And you just do what you can with that minute from now. So with your forearm plank, you look at your arms being the anchor of the, of the pose. They don't really want to take all of your weight though. If you think about an anchor, it's just there to, to steady you and to still you and to keep you where you are. So those anchors, we're going to float our shoulders up. And when we lift our shoulders up, we're going to stretch back into our legs. Because all the strength we have in our legs, we want to use it really, really well. So your knees and your thighs are contracted, your belly is tucked into your spine. And I want you to push your heels back so you really lengthen out through the calves and the backs of the legs as well. So all those anchors are doing there is it's they're holding you strong, they're holding you still, and they're holding you safe. If you smile, it makes life a little better. And if you count yourself down from five, four, three, two, one, and drop yourself down onto your chest, you've done one minute and 10 seconds. Well done. Elbows back out like goalposts again. One last time up into that sphinx position. Shoulders nicely back and down. So you should have had enough heat to generate that plank if you didn't manage the whole minute. Amazing for what you did do. Come back down onto your belly. Slide your hands in next to your waist and sit back to a nice full child's pose. And with yourself forward, we're just gonna walk our hands around one way. So maybe to your right, maybe to your left. We've worked really hard through your oblique muscles this morning, through crisscross and everything we've done. So just stretch those side muscles out. A little space, a little bit of breath. Come back into the center. Go the other way. So nothing feels tight or tense anymore. Everything feels quite long and quite stretched. Come back into the center. Bring your hands by the side of your knees and come up to kneeling, but just to free your legs out in front of you a little bit. And just bring your legs out into like a little diamond shape. And it doesn't have to be wide and you could always have um, your feet together, a little V shape, sorry. And then we're just gonna stretch forward as well. And if you keep the natural curves in your spine and this flat back is super easy for you, then we can use this sort of space here to breathe into and we can just stretch the muscles in the back out. And we can relax the shoulders out. And if you just bow your head back to your belly, we can just let the muscles in the back of the neck lengthen out. And you know, you could even walk your hands around to that leg, one leg, either leg, choose a leg. And just stretch through that side. And then just have a little pitter pat around to the other leg. 
all about space again, it's all about breathing, recovery. Come back into the center. And then like a little C curve, scoop your belly in and come all the way back to standing. We're just gonna stack our legs together and sit up nice and tall through the spine. No bow, I promise you. We're gonna bring one hand to the outside of the opposite knee, the other hand behind you. Just a nice passive twist. And squeeze a little inner workout. And then exhale round to the other side. We work super hard today. I think we work hard every time, don't we? Come back into centre, just swing the legs back around. And then hands at the top of the mat, feet behind you, just tuck arms up and find down the facing dog. And you can have a good old move around here, through hips, glutes. Those worked out quite a lot today. So have a little sway around. We're actually going to walk our hands back to our legs and bend your knees low. So you're back to a ragdoll. That first thing we did, we rolled down and we were a ragdoll. And then tuck your chin in over the spine, just arm curl your way up through each bone slowly so you don't come up, get a head rush. Big roll back and down of your shoulders. Take one big breath in with the arms. And then just float those arms back down by the side. Roll your shoulders and well done. Have a 